Welcome to the 2016 California State University Los Angeles Commencement Ceremony for the Charter College of Education. Will the class of 2016 please rise and be acknowledged by your family, friends, and guests inside the stadium. Will the audience please rise for the processional.
Will everyone please remain standing for the national anthem? of Education, and I'm here to welcome you to the 69th Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> Over the course of your academic career, our faculty, administration, and staff have shared with you valuable information about the world that informs and excites them. They have become your mentors, and for many of you, your colleagues. At this time, I would like to acknowledge California State University faculty trustee Hugo Morales, California State University faculty trustee Steven Stepanek, the chair of the Academic Senate, Dr. Nancy Warder Perez, the members of the faculty, emeriti faculty, and staff representing the university's six colleges, the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library, and the administration for their contributions in assisting students to excel and achieve their goals. Will these members of the university community please stand and be recognized? <laughs> now, please join me in extending a warm welcome to the president of California State University, Los Angeles, Dr. William A. Covino. Thank you, well, congratulations, class of 2016. So this is your day. It was years in the making. You dreamed about it. You worked hard for it. And you earned the right to be here. We're not gifting you this degree. We'll confer it on you today, but we'll confer it on you because you've done everything that you needed to, to earn it. And it is a tremendous, tremendous achievement for you and your families and friends and fellow students. By the time the ceremony's all over, you'll officially hold a degree from Cal State LA. You'll be an alumnus or alumna of this university. Some of you are alumni already. But you'll have more than a degree. You'll have a great story to tell about how you earned this outstanding achievement. 
So when you leave today, be ready to tell your story because it's an important story and because your story matters. You know it better than anyone. You lived it. You know about the long nights studying, the assignment after assignment after assignment, the research that you've conducted. You know about working and going to school and shouldering other responsibilities. You know about pushing the boundaries of achievement beyond what you thought was possible. So you do have a story to tell us, but the story is not yours alone. We know that you didn't achieve this goal just for yourselves or by yourselves. You did it with the help of many people who stood around you and people whose lives you want to help improve. You did it for the students and family and loved ones who will come after you so that they would have strong and, and sure steps to follow. You did it because you want to provide your own sons and daughters a better life. You did it because you want to be part of the solution in your communities, in your families, in this city, and in the world. And this story of yours may have turned out differently if not for the support of loved ones who wouldn't let you give up, who kept believing in you even when times got tough. We want to make sure we don't forget about them today. Will all the parents of our graduates please stand and let us congratulate you. <clears throat> Will all the spouses and partners of our graduates please stand and let us congratulate you. Will all the grandparents, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, friends, and loved ones please stand. Let us congratulate you. Thank you. This is your day too. You've been a big part of the success of these graduates. So class of 2016, your story includes a chapter or must include a chapter about how you changed us, about you, how you changed the university for the better through your example and through your efforts how you taught us what it takes to help you on the road to success, what it takes to graduate students like you who are ready to take their places in the world. Your success has reminded us over and over again of what matters most, that students come first, that your future is at the heart of our initiatives, our plans, and our projects that your success is our success. You've taught us that engaged learning, engagement in the classroom, in the community, makes everyone better able to start rewarding careers because you're equipped and you're equipped with hands-on experience. We've learned from you, from your example, to strive for the best in all that we do and to expect nothing less than your best from you. Through your experiences, through your stories, we've witnessed the richness and importance of welcoming many voices and backgrounds and perspectives. As the city's university, Cal State LA is like the global city that we call home. We must always be a place where the world meets itself in the faces of a richly diverse community, where we are all welcome to expand our intellectual horizons, to engage with and learn from each other, and to be who we are.
unique individuals who share the hopes and dreams and struggles of those from whom we learn and work with. Our university community is rich with students who bring with them a world of experiences and points of view. During commencement this week, 7,953 students will become graduates of Cal State LA. I want to single out one group of students for recognition right now. Uh, will all the military veterans who are with us as graduates today please stand and let us recognize you. One hundred and nineteen of our graduates this week are veterans. We're proud of you and we thank you for your service. So, class of 2016, you've taught us the meaning of pushing boundaries. You've inspired us, you've challenged us to become better, and today you'll receive your degree. But the university receives and holds the lessons that we learned from your time here. As we prepare for the future, we stand on your shoulders. We look forward to a tomorrow that you will help create. We work with energy and focus to be a university that will meet tomorrow's needs and transform the future. And graduates, you have a story to tell about being at Cal State LA during a pivotal moment in our history. You are the last class to graduate under the quarter system. That's right, you snuck in right under the wire. You're graduating at a time when our student population is the highest that it's ever been since we opened our doors in 1947. You're graduating at a time when Cal State LA's prominence is reaching even greater heights. In January, we opened Cal State LA downtown, which allows us to provide new opportunities to students in a vibrant and growing area of the city. Our athletic program has entered a new era of excellence with a new executive director, new coaches, and a commitment to graduate students who succeed on the playing field and throughout life. Cal State LA is becoming a leader in a number of areas, including business innovation in the biosciences. Plans are underway for the creation of a new Rongsheng Shu Bioscience Innovation Center that will give our students the opportunity to work with the entrepreneurs who will change the world. As the university's prominence rises, so does giving giving by our alumni and others, including you and your families. Our supporters all want to be part of the great things that are happening here. So your story uh, belongs to a larger narrative of Cal State LA success. You belong to the Golden Eagle family, which includes more than 240,000 alumni. You're related by shared experience to people such as tennis legend Billie Jean King, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, Congresswoman Lucille Roybal Allard, astronaut Samuel T. Durance, business leader Isaac Larian, Ralph Terrazas, fire chief of the LA Fire Department, Barry Rondinella, the director of the John Wayne Airport in Orange County, Adriana Ocampo of NASA, members of the family that owns Gavinia Coffee and members of the family that owns Porto's Bakery. I know where you're going after commencement today. Your story includes the rich experiences you've had at the Charter College of Education with outstanding faculty experts. They've taught you to be tomorrow's educators and innovators who bring new perspectives, fresh ideas, and high ambitions. 
The college is home to the Los Angeles Urban Teacher Residency Program, designed to equip math and science teachers to thrive in high-need urban schools. It's home to 1,700 students who accept the challenge of teaching because they understand the power of education to unlock the potential of our youth. Yolan Smith grew up in Inglewood and earned her undergraduate degree at Stanford University. Her passion to see others in her community achieve academic success led her to become an educator and an advocate. For many years, Yolan worked as a classroom teacher for some of the most vulnerable students, those with learning disabilities and others with emotional and behavioral disabilities. As a PhD candidate in the joint doctoral program between Cal State LA and UCLA, Yolan has focused on applied research designed to help improve the lives of the population that she's taught. As a supervisor for Cal State LA teacher candidates assigned to low-resourced urban schools, Yolan shares what she's learned. Today, she graduates with a doctorate in special education. She will complete her postdoctoral studies at UCLA, where she will focus on research topics related to the African-American community with the aim of bringing greater cultural understanding to the field. Yolan, where are you? Stand up. Congratulations. The class of 2016 includes so many students who have transformed their own lives through education. Ross Ray, Ross Ray wrestled with alcoholism and drug abuse for 24 years. Substance abuse ruled his life. He stole, he served time in federal prison and believed that he had nothing good to contribute to anyone. At Cal State LA, a sober Ross made life-altering discoveries. He discovered that education would allow him to write his own new story. He discovered his gift for counseling and realized that he's good at it. He discovered that he could redeem the lost years of his life by using his experiences and education to help others avoid his mistakes. Today, at 53 years old, Ross graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Rehabilitation Services with a perfect 4.0 GPA, and he also possesses a clear sense of purpose. His goal is to assist and counsel others who are in rehab for substance abuse, and we want to recognize him today. Ross, where are you? So, class of 2016, engaging and serving the public good is part of your story. As a graduate of Cal State LA, you have an important responsibility, one that you've upheld during your years here. You've learned the importance of engagement and service for the public good. You've learned the meaning of compassion. And as you move forward in life, I know that you will continue to use your education to lift up your communities, to be a force for good in the world. So while commencement may seem like the end of uh, an era of academic achievement, it is, of course, the beginning, the beginning for all of you. It marks the start of the next chapter in your lives. As you move into the future, whatever that is for you, you'll always have the success you've achieved, something wonderful and everlasting to hold on to. And I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve. You will continue to make us proud. 
class of 2016, you will soar. Congratulations, everyone. Now, we come to a very special part of today's commencement. On the recommendation of the California State University Board of Trustees, Ophelia Esparza has been selected to receive an honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Trustee Hugo Morales, member of the Cal State University Board of Trustees, will now join me and read the citation. Trustee Morales. Buenos dias, good morning. Thank you, President Covino. Uh, you know, um, I think if, there were, uh, if we were to give out doctorates for parenting, uh, and there would be many, uh, Ophelia would definitely be one of them. Uh, I think she went to college at the age of, of uh, 42 here, and uh, after having raised nine children. And she was born and raised here in East LA. So I uh, have the honor of uh, uh, reading her citation uh, to uh, Ophelia, uh, the Director, uh, Doctor of Humane Letters. Ophelia Sparza, uh, uh, California State University, Los Angeles alumna, is an esteemed and beloved artist and educator. She has been called a community treasure and a national treasure for her many contributions to the arts, education, community, and cultural pride. For more than 30 years, Mrs. Sparza has shared her talent, time, and energy teaching traditional art forms to children and adults. A pioneer of the Chicano movement, she brought Chicano cultural pride and understanding to school children when she began teaching here in East LA in 1974, after graduating from this institution. Her artistic contributions took form through her work as a painter, printmaker, and altar maker. Her community has benefited from her long, many decades contributions as an art instructor, exhibiting artist, and volunteer at the historic self-help graphics and art, and at the Plaza de la Raza Cultural Center for the Arts and Education. Ms. Parza's work has involved um, the, uh, making many, many um, uh, altares, a Dia de los Muertos, and decorated altars maintaining centuries of, of old customs, keeping alive the memories and souls of loved ones and neighbors and friends, and educating inspire within the Latino community and beyond. Appreciation of Mrs. Parza's art is not restricted to the Los Angeles region. Her work has been exhibited locally, nationally, and internationally, showing at the Latino Museum of History and Art and Culture, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, Long Beach Museum of Latino Art, Orange County Contemporary Art, Santa Barbara Museum of Art, San Jose Heritage Plaza Art Center, the Mexican Museum of San Francisco, Mexican Fine Art Museum in Chicago, Centro Cultural de Tijuana in Mexico, the Glasgow Print Studio in Scotland, and many local galleries and art centers. In recognition of her artistic work and many cultural contributions, the Board of Trustees of the California State University in uh, California State University, Los Angeles, are proud to confer up upon Ophelia Esparza the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Ophelia? Could you please stand up here? <laughs> By the authority vested in me, I confer upon Ophelia Esparza our highest honor, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Esparza. It is, an ancient, uh, it is an ancient custom to invest those who receive academic degrees with hoods that designate the degree bestowed. We present this hood to Dr. Esparza. Thank you. To the president of the university, Mr. William Covino, 
the Board of Trustee members to hear Mr. Hugo Morales and Mr. Steven Stepanek, university administrators and faculty, graduates and their families, my family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. It is with deep humility and profound gratitude that I am here today to receive this great honor bestowed upon me by my alma mater. I am especially honored to speak before this morning's graduate who are embarking in a field of education, as I understand. It has been said that the future of any society lies in the education of the young, but also in the substance of the teachers and the role models that come into their lives. At a very young age, my dream was to be an artist and to become a teacher. I was unaware that I was already an, always an artist, but to be like someone like Miss Agnes Lee, my second grade teacher, who embellished my love for learning, who celebrated my talents and introduced me to the world of books, that became my second dream. <clears throat> I lived in a world of creativity with my mother, Guadalupe, and she was its greatest proponent. Mama Lupe's resourcefulness and her creative spirit nurtured mine, providing a myriad of activities for me to explore and to discover. She was known for her cooking. She grew her own food, raised chickens, utilized in indigenous implements, the molcajete, el molinillo, el metate, to, to grind her corn and to, and to make her chile and her mole. My brother Rudy, who's 90 years old and I think he's, in here, he's here today, he roamed these hills around this very campus uh, looking and picking Gelites, wild spinach, and other uh, greens for, to bring to my mother for her cooking. She made paper creations and the floral decorations with flowers from her garden for her nacimiento and her Day of the Dead altars. I became her helper. I did have a deep sense of belonging to my family, my neighbors, my culture, and even to the earth because I was an observant and I explored the rhythms and patterns in the natural world around me, observing the birds, the insects, even the soil and the sky. My world was color and light, held in the fascination of the stories of my mother that she told about her tierra, her homeland. Listening to my grandfather and the neighborhood elders their dichos and adivinanzas, their sayings, to their music and to the songs which I sang with wild abandon and which buoyed my young heart. I was connected to the universe and I felt safe. This is the foundation to why I build altars and why I chose to be a teacher. I wanna, I'm going to build an altar today using using it uh, as the elements um, in a metaphor to shine and light your journey of an ed educator. An altar is built on a foundation. This is important because it supports all the elements which are held by and connected in relevance and in the strength of its base. So too, I have been, my foundation, which I have described, my my sense of belonging and connectedness, where I shine with light and color, feeling safe, supported, and supported me and loved me in my own world. Now, I have always wondered why, that even that I had loved school so much and loved learning so much, two dark experiences always pop up in my mind before the many, many joyful ones do. In my elementary school, I was born in 1932, so that was a long time ago for you. 
possibly third grade and higher. A monitor from each classroom was picked to, with a little notebook, as part of the safety committee. That, pers that monitor would go down into the playing field during recess time and our lunch time while we, the children, played and sang and, and ran and, uh, whose, and whose job for the monitor was to write down names during that time for all of those of us who spoke Spanish. Like many of us, Spanish was my first language. It was what was spoken at home. After the recess bell, we lined up. Our names from the list were called by, and then one by one, we were told to extend our hand, to be slapped on the palm with a ruler for speaking Spanish in the playground. Now, one teacher in fourth grade always put a, had us put out our back of a hand where she gave a strong whap with a ruler. Of course, this hurt. And I would ask myself inwardly, why does she hate us so much? I wanted to be invisible and quiet in order to stay in the good graces of that teacher. We must have looked gray, colorless, and dull. The light had been taken out of so many of us. This is what happened to one of my friends since kindergarten. He had retreated into, unto himself. He was having difficulty with English, and the more our teacher scolded and belittled him for his slow progress in front of his classmates, the more withdrawn he became. I felt much compassion toward him. He and I became best friends. I always shared my lunch with him, for he always, always hungry. And even though we were all poor, he looked poorer. I met him again 50 years later. He was happily married and still had a dry wit and a, albeit a self-deprecating humor. But he remembered me as his best and only friend in elementary school. By middle school, I had set my mind about being a teacher, but now I wanted to be a teacher in my own neighborhood. I would bring color and light and art into my classroom. No one would be invisible. For me, these are the elements in my altar, the colors and the aroma of the flowers, the light of the candles, the loving mementos placed on the altar, create an ambience that radiates respect, remembrance, and love. The lesson learned here is that students come to a classroom not as blank slates with nothing to offer, where a school or a teacher might feel they have to impart knowledge unto the student. S students come from someplace. They belong to someone. They have experiences. They have dreams. I learned from a great teacher of teachers, May Pendleton Cowan. Dr. Cowan was my son's elementary school teacher, whom I chose to be my master teacher in the uh, credential teachers program. Her humanity and methods were firm, fair, and compassionate and who understood how to motivate students. I realized the importance of observation and reflection in my own values. I reminded myself many times on a powerful concept for a teacher, any teacher. How would you like your own children or, a, or relatives to be taught in their own school? Do other children deserve any less than the expect, expectation one has for our own our own, Dr. Cowan posed these questions to all her mentees, and I ask you the same question. It doesn't matter which level or which field, that old adage, once a teacher, always a teacher, is true, especially when you take on the challenge, <clears throat> the work, and the satisfaction. In my altars, I use colorful textiles as a reminder that we are celebrating the life of a loved one in an altar for Day of the Dead. I want to focus on how that 
person was loved and not how that person died. The radiance of the diverse backgrounds represented by students, especially today, I believe must be respected and celebrated to advance their learning, but also to advance our own humanity. Again, pointing to my symbolic altar, the ultimate focus of the altar is on those we are honoring. Our ancestors, our loved ones, these are the ones who will keep on living in our hearts and minds because they are remembered. Here the metaphor points to the people we are grateful for, for their support and all the reasons we have for appreciating their part in our successes. Who are your loved ones? Who believed in, believe in you and appreciate you? Bring them with you wherever you go, whatever you do. Take your ancestors. That is why we honor them. You are not alone. I want to name teachers and mentors who made a difference in my life. In all of my 84 years, I can count them in my hands. Ms. Agnes Lee, my second great teacher who I mentioned earlier. Mrs. Marguerite Chapman, who praised my brother in third grade and gave him a book that I loved that I also read to my own children. She introduced me to literature classics and exhibited my work, artwork in the school library. Mrs. Zielers, my junior high school ninth grade teacher, who created a monthly art column in our feature for my artwork in our school newspaper and coached me on how to insist that I get into college prep classes in high school. And it turned out to, to be very good advice because the counselor tried to dissuade me from those classes that I requested and point, trying to point me into home economics, which is wonderful, but that isn't where my dream was going to. Mrs. Josefina Jimenez, my Spanish major teacher and art, of, I'm sorry, who introduced me to pre-Columbian history and art. As part of her three-year program, she produced, directed, and made all the authentic costumes for us to wear in a musical featuring regional Mexican music and performed with the student body talent. Here at this campus, Dr. Barbara Boyer, professor in the art education gradu graduate program, who always encouraged me and, and appreciated my vision for teaching. Sister Karen Bocalero, director and co-founder of Self-Help Graphics, where I was first validated as a professional artist. Sister Karen believed in me supported me and encouraged me as a printmaker. And then my good friend, Josefina Quesada, muralist, artist, mentor, and dear friend, who pushed me to produce more painting and to, to explore new media. She will always be in my heart. I am forever blessed with the love and support of my sons and daughters, Alec, Ben, David, Len, Javier, Rosana, Jacqueline, Elena, and Denise, and their spouses and my many grandchildren and great-grandchildren who give me abundant love and fill my li life with such endless joy. <clears throat> to all of you, my dearest, br my dearest brother, my sister and sisters-in-laws, my nephews and nieces and your families, yes, all of you, my friends, you fill my life with, with light and color. Because of you, I am visible. I am blessed. I will be remembering my ancestors, honoring them, taking them, for, thanking them for my life and for watching over me. And I wrote this poem a while back, which really expressed some of the things I, I spoke about today. And it's called, I Am. I am a cosmic bird. I do not need a reason to dream, to soar. 
I am winged dove made of sky, of mournful songs and joyous hearts. I make my way along the rivers. I wade the waters. I feel the sand. I let the ripples carry my dreams, widening, widening evermore, reaching to the other shore. Where water runs dry and waits for rain, I find new ways to cross. I am hummingbird, steadfast and strong. Like those before me, I discover life anew where generations have prevailed. Yes, my people, mi gente. When dust storms rise, we merged with the sun, embraced our mother, the earth, buoyed by the sustenance in our stories and our songs. I am moon and Milky Way. Look up to see my light of streaked sunrise and starry night. I do not need a reason to, to dream, to soar, to fly. I am cosmic bird. My name is Neon Sky. Thank you. Dr. Esparza, you inspire us. Thank you for sharing your life with us today. Thank you so much. Now we turn our attention to the graduates. <laughs> yes. Among the students earning baccalaureate degrees are those who will graduate with academic honors. Dr. Diane Fozzi, Associate Dean of the Charter College, will now acknowledge these students. Dr. Fozzi. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin designations, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude to students that have completed at least 60 units in residence and attained a grade point average that ranks them within the top 10% of their college. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic accomplishments. Will the candidates for graduation with honors please rise and be recognized? Congratulations, please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Academic Officer of the University, Dr. Lynn Mahoney, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Provost Mahoney. President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the Charter College of Education. They have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the university faculty who have taught them. And now the candidates for the PhD, the Joint Doctoral Degree in Special Education at, at California State University and the University of California, Los Angeles, and the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership at California State University, Los Angeles, will now be escorted to the stage to be presented.
Charter College of Education, Doctor of Philosophy in Special Education. Yalan Michelle Smith. Jennifer Lynn Smar. Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. Crystal Gonzalez. Kevin Michael Bice. Cristal Maria Perez. Samara Leeson Stewart. Nadia Aguilar. Juan R. Urdiales. Un Sun Tark. Cecilia Barbara Jimenez. Rosa Latia Ann Johnson. Dale Lamont Royster. Luis Gabriel Sanchez. Kimai Limar Wilson. Christopher Robert Weeby. Nilofar Gasami. All right, congratulations. <laughs> and now the candidates for the Masters of Arts and Master of Science from the Charter College of Education will be escorted to the stage to be hooded and presented. Congratulations. Master of Arts in Education. Bonnie Wong. Ashley Nicole Desjardins. Samantha Kimberly Desjardins.
Verónica Pedrosa. Anna Lillian Herrera. Joshua Valencia. Adina Barajas. Neida Yahaira Barajas. Jessica Lynn McFall. Denisha Bush. Janitia Rosario Villalobos. Tisha Michelle Gilliam. Carla Joanna Lundverdi. Jose Gabriel Jacobo. Sarai E. Riviera. Aaron Elizabeth Bates. Catherine Emily Tung. Angelica Rincón. Sabrina Marie Slaughter. Ruth Josephine Castro. Alyssa Leandra Cruz. Marlene Dominique Rivas. Amelia Diora. Luis Felipe Salgado. Kayla Nicole Chambers. Diana L'Oreal Baldwin. Leticia Martinez. Uriel Quiñones. Lori Joe Brennan. Gina Su. Jesse Arden. Jairo René Alcantar Armenta. Lala Shabani. Terence James Wright. Jose Manuel Alvarez. Robert Calderon Moreno. Alma Alpizar. Judy Xiomara Mejia. Erica Ramos. Venus Vanessa Collins. Patricia Rayo. Antonio J. Solis.
Joel Michael Manwarin. Kevin Savage. Anna Alejandra Sombrano. Brittany R. Walker. Jean Carol Celisari. Hilda Gabriela Dixon. Julio Andrade. Marissa Nicole Nuno. Janice Lumen Andrade. Monica Alejandra Olivo. Heidi Portillo. Marcelina Gutierrez. Hyuping Hong. Nancy Umadi Chidabelu. Jessica Suzanne Carrera. Connie Huen. Melissa Diana Rodriguez. Carly Lynn Humphrey. Jenna Celeste Dizon. Shannon Marie Varner. Natana Lauren Komoki. Christine Carol Clemens. Alexandria Nicole Mills. Diane D. Lucero. Maria Luisa Zane. Minerva Rios. Violeta Alvarado. Rosa Carmela Roman. Lenora Vallarta. Elizabeth Garcia Leon. Nicole Yvette Jackson. Nancy Teresa Matarrita Arian. Sonia Deong Williams. Linda Lee. Ethna Quinn. Lynette D. Thomas. Renee Herrera. Jane Elizabeth Fuller. Edward Booth Gordon. And Jerry Ifuro Sider. Michael David Gallegos. Claudia Yanira Celaya. Jose Manuel Cortinas. Daisy Elguera. Gloria Vasquez. Andres Vasquez. Elizabeth Lowe. Alfredo Muñoz II. 
Ricardo Andrade Ramirez. Thomas Patrick Roddy Jr. Magdalena Lapro. Arturo Ibarra. Dora Lillian Rosa. Steve M. Montoya. Shelly Caroline G. Ryan. Beth Tyler Layden. Karen Francis Ventura. Rocio Ortiz. Maria Cristina Ismael Phillips. Agustín Sarmiento. Linda Iquia Fierro. Leticia Fregoso Vargas. Adriana Samaro Rouse. Shannon Eve Romo. Marlene Valenzuela. Jeffrey Chian Ng. Eliza Beatriz Blanco. Adriana Lopez. Joyce Randall. Samuel Alba. Yolanda Rivera. Graciela Lopez. Esteban Lopez Jr. Monica Duran. Berenice Banda. Larisa Maria Castillo. Griselda Aranda. Teresa Nunez. Jude Matthew Casares. Mary Esther Maradin. Maria Ludres Torres. Alma Rosa Marmolejo. Daniel Martinez. V. Nazarian. Felicia Burt. Mika Kramer. David Sanchez. Ramiro Gutierrez. David Martinez. Larry Chang. Tracy Jones Jaho. Michaela Ricobono Keith Carlton. Lisa K. Bibi. Neely Daniels Horridge. Nancy Delgado. Francine Barrio Santa Maria. 
Ariana Michelle Cruz. Sandra Alonso Marroquín. Nicole Michelle Negocian. Julio César Bernal. Laura Martinez. Rachel Yvonne Johnson. Shant Der Margurchian. April J. Fayetta. Cynthia Moreno. Maria Gracia Santiago Maravilla. Alicia Ray Arlington. Melissa Ann Heckman. Patricia Yvette Escalante. Otoniel Diaz. Josephine Brangham. Master of Science in Counseling. Steven Lucio Solis. Roberto Robert Rolón. Delmis Calai Lopez. Jessica Larios. Alexa Giselle and Morado. Nelly Carrillo Barajas. Grace Santiago. Jacqueline Quijada. Sandra Martinez. Sylvia Pang. Michael Anthony Orbegon. Jessica Garcia. Sarah Schlenner. Jennifer Robinson Willingham. Eliana Velasco. Javier Marquez. Michael Anthony Gerardo. Jose Amador Perez. Leah Marie Zeller. Tim Hitchman. Lorena Banuelos. Marie Helene Demers. Edith Revas. Veronica Danielle Barcenas. Tracy Elizabeth Zula Wang. Deanne Garcia. Allison Melanie Meyer. Muriel Graciano. Julie Jung. Priscilla Antoinette Martinez. Nancy Beatrice Ayala. Jessica Maria Delgado. Rosalba Gama. Daisy Comparan. Anna Maria Poole. Yeah, 
Diana Carrillo. Deborah Jackson Turner. Fabiola Flores. Francisco Macias. Shante Yvette Henry. Jose Luis Franco. Lamar Wint. Giselle Bam Lelasco. Brenda Mariana Carrillo. Giselle Magali Hernandez. Claudia Marisol Serrano. Lino Rios. Ronica Señores. Jake Flannery Goodrich. Victor Adam Alcantara. Catherine Louise George. Alexis Elisa Carter. David Angel Hernandez. Aziz Kabush. Irving Chavez Sr. Tania Lisette Gonzalez Barcelo. Diana Barcia Flores. Darlene Zavala. Maria Guadalupe Cañas. Mayra Alejandra Contreras. Lucy C. Lu. Daisy Santillan. Luis Merlos. Anastasia Shuraliva. Melissa Vasquez. Julie Juhi Nam. Janelle Marie Floresa. Mayra Trejo. Diana Noeli De La Torre. Stephanie Lisette Jimenez. Malina Barigan. Armand Akopian. Marlo Denise Gaston. Michael Damian Hunt. David Macias. Anthony Castellanos. Aruten Samonian. Jacqueline Fryer. Christina Rose Rodriguez. Jessica Contreras. Jennifer Denise. Mariana Vanetzian. Ana Framalino. Olga Kuznetsova. Zara Atefi. Alvard Usunyan. 
Anne Marie Hare. Atensor Song 2. Louise Bresseno. Maria Joanna Competente y Sorena. Zamora Montes Roman. Jane Chern. Kimberly Ann Webb. Elena Martinez Esparza. Jacqueline Yvonne Ramiro. Samly Rubí Meléndez Navarro. Karen Prior. Diana Leso. Gabriela Valencia. Juana Elsa Caballero. Rebby Radke. Hannah Teresa Waldman. Marissa Francis Lucero. Lauren Elizabeth Nieblas. Kelly Veronica Lambert. Susana Castro. Yvette Nadine Esposa. Natalie Saldana. Alex Ariano. Peter Andrew Cerda. Rafael Lopez Turan. Joanna Lisette Hernandez. Yesenia Aleman Mendez. Glyza Tierra Collera. Marina Bautista. Rochelle Annette Torrance. Tracy T. Tran. James Henry Riley Jr. Nancy Crystal Nunez. Sandy Alexandra Espinosa. Vatina Siobhan Clark. Stephanie Kwan Louie. Erin Kameko Oguanga. Ricardo Farid Toland. Sarah Carleen T Lamb. Senia Gallegos. Rosalia Zavala. Ana Victoria Melendez. Melody Gonzalez. Vanessa Loera. Deanna Marie Alva. Starla Tracy Singleton. Mandy Lee Stout. Natalie Opal Courtney. Nancy Ann Hitchcock. Karenina Gutierrez. Shanae Latrice McMillan. Stephanie Michelle Yerena Salinas. 
Sarah Rebecca Heralda. Larry Odell Dillon Jr. Luis Alonzo Guevara. Harid Al Kurashi. Now, will the candidates for the doctoral and master's degrees please rise for conferral of degrees by President Covino. All right. All right, let's make it official, shall we? By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the doctoral or master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. Okay, we've got some other graduates here. <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> the, the traditional moving of the tassel is a special moment in a commencement ceremony. After all baccalaureate degrees have been conferred, President Covino will lead the graduates in the turning of the tassel. The candidates for baccalaureate degrees will now be escorted to the stage to be presented. Bachelor of Arts in Urban Learning. Sonia Garcia. Brianna Robles. Kathleen Camille Liano. Michelle Inao. Christine Cisneros. Regine Versola Mateo. 
Leanne Gard Gardano Espinosa. Jacqueline Valenzuela. Lizette Baruso. Yesenia Villegas. Adalia Vidarde. Cynthia Gabriela Aguilar. Jonathan Recalde. Christian Sarah Cordova. Molly Gomez. Eddie J. Reyes. Juan Roberto Rodriguez. Katrina Lee Adams. Samantha Rose Owens. Carlos Moreno. Abigail Lee Lacey. Cynthia Arias. Maria Elena Valdon. Angela Hannah Saba. Jessica Sedano. Jenny Jean Sao. Sarah Choi. Cynthia Mesa. Kelly Benitez. Ashley Jeanette Perez. Isabel Jimena Hernandez Reyes. Jeanette Dominguez. Yvette Orozco. Jennifer Pazos. Jocelyn Pazos. Heidi Bretado. Carolina Lizette Eninguez. Grecia Veronica Saucedo. Vanessa Rojas. Jessica Lorenzana. Marie Bianca Perez. Angela Lopez. Jesse Joe Avalos. Eugenia Elizabeth Marroquín. Erica Andrea Castillon. Susie Tanya Ohanyan. Christine Marquez. Brenda Alejandra Quiroz. Paulina Ariano Rodriguez. Judy Park. Lou Marie Joan Reyes. Mayi Danielle Guanson Bravo. Amanda Alexandria Enriquez. Bianca Araceli Hernandez. Ashley Mercedes Anaya. Jamie Granados. 
Berenice Ochoa. Doris Elizabeth Guzman. Paul Raymond Miller. Juanita Hernandez. Zonia Gabriela Trejo. Cecilia Karina Barrera. Christina Ramirez. Rina Catherine Valenzuela. Ricardo Francisco Cruz. Jose Rodriguez. Bachelor of Science in Rehabilitation Services. Anna Maria Ramirez. Laura Moreno. Luis David Perez. Ross Gordon Ray. Christina Monroy. Amy Hernandez. Wendy Sanchez. Andrew Olander. Anali Santa Maria. Guadalupe Olivares. Vanessa Garcia Reese. Marta Hatamian. Christine Marie Clark. Destiny Alexis Mendez. Melissa Marie Herrera. Leslie Ann Bernal. Crystal Garcia. Mariela Blas Ortega. Karina Cruz Berdejo. Cindy Farias. Steve Contreras. Daniel Andres Moran. Maria Yukari Tepatnuya. Damaris Adriana Cortez. Latoy Mickey Moore. Jonathan Romero. Hansel and Cecil. Miguel Elesban Gonzalez. Rocio Ortiz. Gabriela Gaitan. Dalia Paulette Hernandez. Pamela Mulek Olander. Sarah Marie Gomez. Martha Judith Acosta. Gaudi Gonzalez. Maria Dolores Estrada. Stephanie Karina Varios. Andrea Aurora Ortiz. Tatevic Kachatarian.
Anush Harjunan. Blanca Alvarez. Suzette Arlene Toledo. Luis Angel Estrada. Kires Getahun Exi. Marilyn Kim Feng. Carlos Alberto Arceo. Jason T. Siani Elisa Witzil. Jessica Elisa Jimenez. Karina Elisa Raraz. Jacqueline Alamares Lopez. Silonet Melissa Armas. Hillian Marie Hernandez. Karina E. Juarez. Jessica Chen. Wendy Chen. Samantha Paz. Michael Anthony Cano. Veronica Aguilar. Jennifer Ann Mireles. Emma Elizabeth Moreno. Luz Maria Cisneros. Denise Hernandez. Leslie Christine Linares. Christopher Joseph Matzen. Pauline Elia. Michael Howard Fung. Cindy Maritza Rivas. Ashley Elena Oliva. Margarita Guzman. Maria Oliva. Selen Escandari. Adriana Veronica Acevas. Jackie Tapia. Jarelli Rivera. Carla Danielle Martinez. Noemi Martinez. Clarissa Teresa Doe. Alejandra Alvarez. Jenny Lisette Najarro. Sandra Lizette Bernal. Melissa Marie Lemucci. Salvador Correa Jr. Maria Carmen Nino. Natalie Salazar. Maricela Aguilar Ayala. Jasmine Flores. Amanda Victoria Therese Orozco. Jacqueline Mesa.
Laura Aguilar. Diana Yvette Blen Acevedo. Jessica Guerrero. Mayra Alejandra Rosa Rojas. Ana Laura Soto. Luis Felipe Aguilar. Robert Aaron Shivers. Magdalena Carolina Torales. David Rios. Joe Luis Hernandez. Evelyn Perez. Saida Elizabeth Ramirez. Laura Guadalupe Espejo. Abel Tovar Jr. Jarelle Nicole Mahano. Stacy Alice Gubler. Gigi Boye. April Elizabeth Flores. Annette Ricoy. Britannia Alicia Kraft. Itzel Carieli Sarabia. Julio Cesar Martinez. Jose Alberto Sandoval. Diamond Danielle Brown. Angelica Ruth Chavez. Jenny Bravo. Patrick Ty. Jonathan Castaneda. Frank A. Valenzuela. Last picture. All right, congratulations. Now, will the, will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees please rise for conferral of degrees by President Covino. All right, everybody got through finals okay, right? All right. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto now. Move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations.
I would like to thank all of the university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers involved in this, the 69th commencement ceremony. And I want to acknowledge the members of the Honors Convocation and Commencement Advisory Committee. Now, will everyone please rise for the university hymn. Thank you. 